Greetings and welcome. This is Psychic Medium Roberto and I truly hope you are doing well today. I am guided by spirit. Today is the May 28, 1903, 7 p.m. Central African time. Uh, one or two of you might be asking, how come I'm sending out videos again? So many in the batch. Um, tomorrow in South Africa on the 29th uh, will be our voting year or cycle. So everyone will be at the polls tomorrow. All right, trigger warning. So technically tomorrow's off for us, right? <laughs> Whenever I get a gap, I'm going to do a video. All right, trigger warning. The subject matters of a mature nature and deals with true crime events. Disclaimer, all cases are treated as alleged until proven in a court of law. On the lighter side of things, but relevant to the case, I'm looking at Karen Reed and John O'Keefe from a compatibility test point of view and of course of course i don't know every single element of the case however their relationship was brought into focus and i believe the actual perpetrators allegedly because we have been playing ping pong um, use their relationship or the, the issue that they might have had, and we'll get there, against her, Karen. So let's have a look. And uh, of course, I do offer free compatibility tests to anyone watching this. Preferably, please be a subscriber. Hit that subscriber. I never ask to subscribe. But if you're a subscriber... I will do a free compatibility test for you. All right, and just send it to my email, please. And I will do an overview for you, for you to make a decision, or at least to give you insight, or to better inform you from a numerology perspective. Not to go a little bit kitsch, but I included the hearts. Karen Reed and John O'Keefe. So Karen is born on February the 26th, 1980. And John, according to the information I'm given, is December the 8th, 1975. So let's start with Karen as the individual. Okay. Karen as the individual. Now, I will take it also, because there's different perspectives that we can take, right? We're going to take it on the perspective of the current case in relation to the case, right? Who is Karen Reed? What I do like immediately and both Karen and John share this number, is the number two. Uh, Big pardon, let me just sort this out. I just brought this in. Um, there we go. Big pardon. What I do like about Karen and John O'Keefe's date of birth is they both share a two. Now, in a previous compatibility test that I did, um, the couple didn't even have any signs of emotion, right? Very, uh, oh, I beg your pardon. <laughs> I'm laughing because Gabby's tapping me on my shoulder, right? Because I actually went into um, the book quickly just to grab this bit of imaging, right? Um, it was on Gabby and um, her fiancé side, um, a transactional relationship. So with Karen and John... They both share a two in significant places. So February, where it sits for Karen, is very important, very solid number, influential number. 
its influence will obviously, as we know, will last for like, for example, 28 to 31 days because it is a month number. So the influence is monthly. And where for John, it sits in the middle of his day. So this is who he is. The His friends and family and people that know him, is this is who John is, 22 11 to 22 4 and i'm going to get to his, his details because that 22 that you see here as brave as he needs to be on the streets in his police car in his police role he is a solid male energy 22 4 robust in a way however hidden is the 22 is the influence one of and we'll go there one of major influence in him adopting his was it his sister's kids or family but kids right the 22 is the surrogate mother i'm not saying he was feminine but the 22 20 20 with an outcome 2 is the mother okay he also has while we go in there the 24 6 is all about family for him 24 6 is all about the family even the 42 6 now you would say it's the reversal of the 24 6 right which is correct destruction of a family right so who will be there to take them in john o'keefe will be there to take them in he has empathy 42 6 for broken homes because he is about building homes 24 6 through 22 the surrogate mother there's no harm in males as robust as he is an eight the four he does have feminine energy three no issue with that makes him that well-rounded human being caring for family and kids so the fact that karen and john have a two each in their profile in this relationship means there is significant, relevant, real emotional connection. In my opinion, and I'm just quickly looking now to make sure. In my opinion, this is not a transactional relationship at all. And we'll go deeper. Now, it, it is widely noted in the press. Well, I, I haven't gone into their personal space. Let's, okay, let me do that as a pre-context here. I did read that, for example, Karen is in the financial sector. Right? So look what she has here. Masses of ten ones masses of ten ones which is about money karen is doing what she's meant to be doing in her life she's not having a karmic relationship or some some other whatever relationship no Karen is who she is and she's in sync with herself. We also note the 281 and Karen may forgive me for this but in her defense let's deal with this first 2810 in combination with the 268 is those foul language moments. 26, 8, 28, 10, 1 are those foul language um, texts 
in fact uh, did a friend for reading uh, I did a reading for a friend recently and I joked with her and I said oh you got a 26 8 in your profile must be like hot sauce spitting hot sauce coming out of your mouth if we get you on the wrong side of bed the 26 8 when it's negative it is what we see in the text and the uh, voice messaging and all that kind of thing we all have our moments uh, but some of us have a bit of a boost behind us like the 26 8 and the 28 10 very argumentative on the negative on the negative but in the positive 28 10 1 gift of the gab gift of the gab deals going down 10 1 not pocket money big deals 10 1 and she has 10 1 look at all those 10 ones big money huge potential to make big money okay the 89 with Karen we're still on her profile 89 is the ideas person as well she can come up I don't know what part of financial sector but for example she could be an innovator an inventor or a creator in the financial sector that's like her key one of her key foundation numbers here this Karen is a bright spark here when you have nines yeah we're talking propensity for higher learning higher level next level higher level they both share an eight very physical relationship I would imagine that the 12-3 would actually attract Karen with the three you know some relationships and and I'm not saying it's in most parts or whatever there's moments but in some instances and well I'm not talking about the type of relationship but let's say in the case of Karen and John there would be moments where Karen would be the let's call it the the stereotypical let's say male lead in the relationship the dominant force in the relationship but there will also be times when John is the dominant force in the relationship so I would say they would be easily it would be easy for them to switch between the two over time right because once you get to know someone so they both share AIDS which is a good thing good healthy physical relationship right now let's have a look at John's numbers here now you would say is that enough for them to actually be connected yes there is a there is and let me finish there is a emotional connection emotional connection there's a physical connection now remember Gabby and her fiance didn't even share this so they're in a better space already in terms of will this relationship uh, relationship succeed or not and we're going to go deeper now when you have any male or female and I'll make a block here when you have a male or female that has all these sixes and all respect to the family of John O'Keefe um, 
the because of all of his sixes here, yeah, the the loss of of not what he paying money for whatever looking after kids. No, no, they're not gonna. They obviously it's an impact in reality, yes, but what they're gonna miss is the big heart the big heart engine room of the family because when you have someone that uh, has all these sixes sixes is about the human it's about the soul it's about connection human and soul connection when someone has all these sixes he's like a magnet for people because they know within John the value of his heart. Big heart, big teddy bear. Don't mess with him when he's on the beat, 22-4. Don't mess with him when he's on the beat. But when he's at home, big daddy bear. And him wanting to do the right thing, as we know in the case, there's two very good, good in fact, three very good numbers here. Him wanting to do the right thing, 22-4, power number, I'll mark it in purple. And by the way, he has, I'll make this one purple, we'll keep the 20 and the two outcome there green, because he has two power numbers. And in fact, he actually has three power numbers. This man is a rocket ship. If you want to use a colloquial comparison to the amount of energy this man exudes and generates. It is like bugs flying to the light is who this guy is. He's light. He's energy. Oh, by the way, John's now standing on my left-hand side. Because <laughs> you'll know from previous readings, and he's just made me aware of it. You'll know in my previous readings, I said he's on my right, over my right shoulder, but like outside of my periphery, if you like. The impact he leaves behind and not him but the impact that is felt on the, his loved ones will be like an earthquake not and i'm not belittling any relationship of any human being on this planet some people will move on easily after a passing or they can rationalize it or they um, um be analytical about the situation but when this man passed there was earthquakes and volcanoes going off in his periphery now imagine what Karen must have gone through it would have been the same impact for her he's like a daddy love energy magnet this guy now, would any woman fall for that kind of thing? And also, we must also keep in mind that we don't want too many matches either. Right? Because, and you know, I said this in the, um, and I've got it here. I don't know if it will show up here, but give me one second. With, with the case of um, Gabby and her fiancé, this is from an uh, extract from the book, there's only transactional elements here. that binds this couple. But with this couple, they have emotional connection, which is important. 
They have a definitely have a physical connection they had. And who wouldn't want a fun loving heart generating man to be with from Karen's perspective? And who wouldn't want a successful corporate woman, whatever level of finance she does? So in my opinion, and what I'm saying is you don't want too many numbers connecting either because you will have a situation where you're sitting with yourself as your partner, right? So as long as you have, and I mentioned this, sorry, I'm going just looping a little bit here. Um, I mentioned with um, Gabby and her fiance, um, you want you want connection numbers like a two, even a four, even a four, and but also a six, because those are the numbers that connect us at a at a genuine level versus a 10-1 level. That's their connection, Gabby and her fiance, 10-1-1, transactional. Now imagine with Karen's, all of her 10-1s, and if John, let's say he, in the year that he's born, he had an outcome 10-1. Let's say instead of the 22-4, he has a 10-1, for example. That would immediately tell me it was a karmic relationship. So that's what I checked. The year that they're born in, she's got an 18.9. He's got a 22.4. Not the same, thank goodness. Then we go, okay, she's got an 18.9 in the year that she's born. Does he have an 18.9 as an outcome? Thank goodness not, and vice versa, right? So what we have here is we've got an emotional connection, physical relationship, of course, of consenting adults. She is business minded for sure. She can play the group vibe. She can go with the group. But at the end of the day, she is an individual one born a, a or a life path number 10 one individual. She will always maintain her individuality which is a good thing. And with John's numbers, he's got solid on his own. He's got three power numbers. This guy was a walking power station. He's 11-2. So 22-4 makes him the truth speaker. He speaks the truth. 11-2 is about the law. And don't mess with 33.6. So in my opinion, yes. Now, if you, okay, let's put the pressure test on, right? We spoke about 26.8 with Karen. Hot lips. Hot, spicy lips when it gets uh, upset. Can be quite loud and vocal with that. But I'm not seeing, even in her numbers, I don't even think I would, I mean, I wouldn't even consider Karen as anything other than who she is, doing her thing in her life, to go out and harm people. She doesn't have the numbers. She doesn't have the numbers to tell me she's gonna be the the girl the the girlfriend we all didn't want to show the white rabbit to, right? Not at all. She's highly intelligent, very uh, single-minded, um, knows what she's doing. Not in any way, shape, or form are there numbers here that would say. Um, when she goes bad, she goes bad. Not at all, right? 
And in John's case, he is the truth speaker. He is the family man. He is the law-abiding citizen. So in my opinion, this was not a karmic or transactional relationship. Every relationship goes through its up and downs. And of course, when you start putting liquor and adding hot sauce, you are going to get hot sauce to level five or whatever the maximum is, right? All those messages and things. We all have our moments. It doesn't make you a murderer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I did ask permission a few days to do the show and I wasn't given permission. And because I've got a gap, uh, this well, I technically had the afternoon off today and tomorrow's uh, go vote day. Um, I asked again today if I can do it and I got the nod. So here is a lighter side of Karen Reed's journey, but one would say very significant in that the prosecutors are using the relationship against them or the uh, people within the house that night are using the relationship against them when all I'm seeing is a regular relationship based on emotional contact, physical relationship, healthy, and each have their own lives. So who's fooling who? All right, ladies and gentlemen, please let me know what your thoughts are. I love engaging with your thoughts and uh, speak soon. Stay safe, stay alert, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.